Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, we got another big pickle jar of copper sulfate to get the copper out of. This is, mm, I think three, It's it'll be right in the title, but uh, well, two and a half. <laughs> I didn't press record on one of them. Yeah, I hate when that happens. I did a whole show or whole video and no recording. <laughs> so we're just going to jump right into this. Uh, for those of you who maybe this is your first time seeing uh, copper sulfate, it's blue. Uh, we're going to take the metal out. And if it's your first time seeing that, pulling the copper metal out, we're going to use aluminum. Uh, to start off with, because it, it shows better, <laughs> I'm going to use some foil and then I'm going to use some bigger uh, thicker uh, foil that like a, like a aluminum baking dish um, so let's let's just get right after it uh, the process is called cementing we're cementing the copper out onto the aluminum and uh, that's how it, it trades places. Um, the aluminum is uh, higher up on the reactive scale of metals and <clears throat> the copper is lower, so they just kind of trade places. Now, with aluminum and doing it this way, there's a special trick to it. Uh, you have to use salt. In my research, no, no one really knows how or why or what's going on. All we know is that the salt helps the solution penetrate the uh, oxidation layer of aluminum. And no, you can't just scratch it up and put it in there because aluminum almost instantaneously oxidizes. So as soon as you scratch, lift your hand away, it's already oxidized. Uh, I don't know if you could stick it in there and scratch it up, but the salt's cheap, just put some salt in it. Okay, I'm gonna pull you down and get this going. All right, so I'm gonna put the salt in first, so it'll be kind of maybe a little fancier reaction here. And when I stick the aluminum in, aluminum in, we're looking for some pretty instantaneous brown color. Ah, see how fast that was? Give it another little stir. Sticks more in. Gotta get that salt on there. If it's not reacting for you, add more salt. I can hear it starting to cook. Uh. 
Okay, I've got some bigger pieces now that were in my last reaction. It's still, it's actually still going, but I don't need as much aluminum in it as I've got. And it's the same thing, as soon as I pull that out of solution, every bit of what's oxidized, every bit that doesn't have copper on it oxidizes. So gotta add some more salt. So now, what we're seeing is the, uh, buildup of hydrogen bubbles. This is this is full force reaction going on now. And uh, it's less showy. Yeah, but it's, uh, this is what it's doing. Smoke. Yeah, uh, my daughter's watching the reaction for the first time and uh, she noticed that there's smoke well, it's uh, hydrogen. It's all the hydrogen that's being released. I do not know why there's even hydrogen in the uh, solution. If anybody knows, comment below because uh, the electrolysis process where I got all this uh, copper sulfate takes out the uh, hydrogen, takes out the hydrogen and that's what makes it stall out. You have to redo the solution. So if anybody knows uh, where all this hydrogen is coming from, uh, please comment below and share with the class. Okay, we're pretty much uh, past the most vigorous part. Uh, there's large amounts, as you just saw, of surface area that doesn't have copper cementing out onto it. It will eventually, but we're to the point where it's time to just set it aside and uh, pretty much just check it in the morning. 
Um, so don't forget the, honestly, it, it's been about an hour. I kind of forget what all I said at the beginning of the video, but we're going to end up with aluminum sulfate solution that I, I'm going to put it all together and do my best to demonstrate its water purification usage. Uh, the other usage, I, I don't know uh, on, off the top of my head what they are for aluminum sulfate, but the big one that I'm concerned with is uh, water purification. Now, I do not know, I, I still gotta look it up, if uh, the, let me back up. You take aluminum sulfate, 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 excuse me, aluminum sulfate, you dehydrate it, make crystals or powder, and then you can measure the, measure the amount that you have a whole lot easier. Then you take that, a certain amount of that, and put it into um, hot, hot water. And then you make a certain amount of volume of that, and then you can put that into uh, your ratioed amount of uh, water that you have boiled. And it will coagulate all the dead organics and clear up your water and of course make it taste better because pond water, even boiled, tastes like pond water. <laughs> so anyway, that's the direction we're heading with the uh, aluminum sulfate when that's done. And then uh, I wanted to uh, say, I may be reiterating again, I don't remember what all I said at the beginning of this. Uh, when I get, let's see, we got a good amount of copper down there. When I get all this together, all the copper that I'm getting out of this solution, uh, I'm not gonna put it in with my purified from electrolysis stuff, because that's pure, pure, pure. This may still have aluminum, aluminum in it. So I'm gonna gather up all that, and then I'm gonna take the uh, last jar of my copper sulfate solution and uh, I'm going to put all the copper that we get out of these processes in the bottom and then I'm going to pour that last bit of uh, copper sulfate on it and then stir it, stir it, stir it. I'm not going to add any copper or aluminum like this or the foil, nothing. I'm not going to add because that's the last step and getting this purified. Once once all of that aluminum, I'll, I'll sit it there for weeks and just stir it once or twice a day and uh, make sure there's no reaction. Once there's no reaction, all aluminum is in solution. And then I'll just set that aside and we'll have our good pure copper metal that I can sell. Um, Other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. We've got several more of these to do. Like, subscribe. <laughs> hope y'all like this candid stuff. Like, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, y'all be blessed.